how's it going everyone today is going to be a different type of goalie tips video last week played some scrims against prophecy team is currently in first place in eshl scary joy class act you know they're all very good players uh there's a lot of moments i think i can use to help you guys in that i'm gonna try and do this live instead of with the script this video might go a bit longer than usual but it sh i should be able to get more information across to you guys hopefully i don't mess up too much on the mic but let's get started and let's see how this goes what do we got? Oh, he's trapped. Get him trapped. Alright, what do you guys got? I don't, I don't remember what happens at all in this game. Oh, nice, nice kick save. There we go. There's gonna be more. Guys open. Yep, there he is. Alright, nice glove save. Alright, I definitely do want to go over that one a little bit. Let's see what we got. Let's see if I can do this okay. There we go. Not bad. Play it. There we go. Alright, so let's see what happens here. Uh, when they get it to the point, man... Hold on. Uh, the big thing here is to... I did not treat it like a shot. It was not a shot. It was a pass. And if I dropped down to, to, to Butterfly, this would have been much harder. But I did stay standing. So once he got that, I'm just focusing on his forehand. That top left corner is definitely open. So I do move up into the left a little bit. And I ended up getting a nice kick save. Play is not over yet, though. And I think I messed up a little bit when I watched this. Yeah, I'm definitely way too aggressive right now. He's really not a threat to score. It, I, sh I definitely should back up a little bit in the crease and just at least make sure my, my pads are lined up with the post. I'm a bit too far ahead. It would make cross creases a bit easier. I do make that save. I do see that guy open. But if there was someone over here, you know, I'm really making it hard for myself. So I should back up a little bit. And I think when I move, the biggest thing here is to not move too much to the right. And end up uh, getting, you know, what's it called? Getting getting beat on a cross grain shot. Uh, my goal on the point shots is to almost always end up, you know, basically in the middle or towards the middle of the crease. And I think I end up perfectly centered to that shot. Nice glove save. And that is the end of that threat. Alright, I think we're safe. Uh oh, big turnover. Oh, big glove save. Alright, so nothing too crazy on this one. Still go over it. Why not? All right, so once the pass happens, um, I'm basically just trusting my defenseman to cover the backhand. I'm gonna put, I'm, I'm gonna make sure I get four, and I'm gonna over pursue, make sure I get myself ahead of that post. And the big thing here is that there is nobody in the center of the ice rim to pass to. It's basically one on one, unless he takes it to the corner or, in, or circles back. Uh, that's why I put all my chips. You're gonna see me definitely over pursue forehand on that one, overplay it, easy glove save. Uh, not too difficult of a read, but a nice save nonetheless. Oh, what a save. Is that going to be the end of it, or can I rewind right there? That's the end of that one. So what the hell was that? That was a nice save right there. All right, puck goes down low. Um, you know what? I might have been... A, I, def, I probably should be on this post a little bit sooner, because if he does go for the wrap, I don't want to get caught moving left and then to the right. So if I'm on this post a little bit sooner, then it would make the wrap easier. If I grab that post... And basically, luckily, they're both in the same shooting angle, these two. So if it goes to any of these two guys, I'm just going to move up. And I think I end up just having some really good reaction there. Nice save. Oof, that was clutch. All right, on to the second period. There we go. Oh, no shots. We suck. That save wasn't too bad, I'd say. Um, let me just rewind. Never know. There is, I think there is something important that I do want to go over. Okay, so when they're entering the zone, notice I'm not too aggressive. Uh, my pads, for the most part, are you know slightly ahead of the post, almost lined up perfectly there. But remember, they're not a threat to score. N nobody here is a threat. This guy, person, you know, th this, is, this is a one-timer possibility. I don't know, the green's right there. So this is the only one that I really have to focus on when they're entering the zone. So, and it's the zone, especially now his back's facing the board, it's nothing. So anything to him, just make sure I can get myself towards the middle and just call it a day. And that's exactly what happens. Right to the middle, glove save, no problem. Oh, nice block. All right, so I do want to go back to that clip, it, even though it did the shot did get blocked. I do think I did a lot of good things right for this one. So 
puck in the corner. I do use the stand-up post hug. I notice this, if the point guy goes up here, I can reset my goalie. No one is down low, so if the puck does get sent back around, or if this guy does come around, you know, I can focus on that. It's nothing too big. Um, this guy is open, so the easy thing here is just to move up and towards the middle of the crease. But as the play develops, you know, this guy over here all of a sudden becomes open. And on short side shots, you know, from this angle, he might have the far post open. So I, I think the best way to go is just to simply move up. And I think that's exactly what I did. And Teal ended up blocking it. But overall, I think I was there anyway. So this guy was my main threat. And all of a sudden, in a fraction of a second, they can change. And all of a sudden, boom, there's someone in front of your net. Uh, so from there, the best way, you know, is just to move up. If you need to move more towards the middle, then up and to the left or up and to the right. And this, we got a nice easy save. I'm fucking rambling. <laughs> oh, that's a, even though that got blocked, I definitely want to go over that one. That was fucking clutch right there. Clutch by a defensive, but I think I had that. What a read. All right, so let's see what happens here. So puck goes to the corner. Do I hold it this time? What, was I just so... I guess I must have been so sure about this pass happening that I didn't hold it. That's the only thing I can think of at this time. But yeah, that pass happens. Boom. Once again, I'm moving towards the middle of the crease. Especially the big thing here is his handedness. His forehand is on this side towards the middle of the ice. So that means I have to move towards the middle. Um, if his forehand was on this side right here, I'm probably good where I am. I'm not going to move at all. Before The handedness is definitely a factor here. Move towards the middle. I think I have that perfect, but <laughs> Yellow does a great job. I think that's Boney. It's either Boney or Gergs, but bo they did a great job blocking that shot. Okay, so I think that was the uh, the last shot I ended up facing in this game. As you can see, we're going to end up winning this game 2 to nothing. Oh, well, I guess I spoiled the last 10 seconds. Uh, let me know what you guys thought of this video. I, I think I did a pretty good job with this one. Definitely could do a little better, but I definitely like the way I presented the tips. I think it's much easier for me, much easier for you guys. I can definitely get more information across. I have another game or two, you know, from this night versus Prophecy that I think can be really good. So if you guys enjoyed this style of video, definitely let me know in the comments below, and I'll definitely keep this going. Uh, the video where I answer your questions, don't worry, I haven't forgotten about that. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.